you know, to, to numb out my mind last night, to change the frequency of my thoughts about what we're doing with you guys, what we're teaching, what I need to teach you still, what I haven't taught you, what I should teach you, but I don't know about it yet because they haven't taught you, <clears throat> haven't thought about it, so what am I gonna do to teach you? You know, all those thoughts. And so I turned on this movie, and it's a movie I recorded. And, um, you know, I thought it'd be a really shit movie. And um, I'm watching it, I think it's gonna be a really shit movie. And I'm going, yeah, it's a really shit movie. I'm going, rewind. Mike goes, what did he just do there? I said, he saw what the guy did. The guy practiced a certain way. So when he went out there and fought the guy, the guy only had one technique. It's a bruiser of a technique. It's crush the rib cage with a step through right roundhouse kick. <laughs> so what he did, yeah, I just swallowed my peppermint. <laughs> Do not breathe in a peppermint. It will go, here I am. <laughs> and, and so he went out there and he goes, <laughs> and he lifts his elbow. And the other guy's so stupid, he goes, target. <laughs> The other guy goes to the target. When he goes to the target, he steps in and he goes, Bwah! and just knocks the shit out of him. And my wife goes, what just happened? How did he do that? And I go, and I re-ran the third time. And I go, well, he saw it. He knew what the guy was gonna do. He set up a plan just like that, and then he did it. And so I watched that whole movie, enjoying it immensely, totally involved in the frequency, the emotions, and the vibration of the movie because I was really, really astounded about how good this guy had done in this movie. And I don't even like this guy. That's him right there. You can zoom in on him. His name is Michael High White. He's been in a bunch of movies, I guess. I don't even hardly remember him because I usually just disassociate from him. But the movie was blown, Bone in Blood, and he goes under the name of Bone. And as far as the plot goes, the plot of the movie shit. <laughs> but the action, the stuff that gets me going, gets me motivated, the peak performance stuff, I haven't seen anybody doing stunts that good for years and years and years. And then when he was fighting the end thing, that guy was even better, but this guy had to win because he was the movie star. Does that make sense? <laughs> but the other guy was even better, and I just love peak performance stuff. I mean, I like to carry around $50 gold pieces or $6,000 cash. Does that make sense? I carry a bag of money with me wherever I go just in case I find some quality stuff. That's how my life is run. I have the frequency of, yes, if it's priceless, I'll get it. Yes, if it's great, I'll get it. That's my frequency. Now, we were talking.